goat was very excited that day because it was her birthday. But she was also excited because her mother told her that she would prepare a big surprise for her. The little goat went to her brothers and sisters excitedly. <laughs> what is my mom's surprise for me, Bah? Surprise? I can't say! No way! <laughs> oh, come on! You tell me, brother! What surprise will my mom have for me, Bah? <laughs> if I tell, it's not gonna be a surprise anymore! I can't tell, Bah! But on the other side of the forest, the greedy wolf was in search of a meal for his stomach. After a while, the wolf saw two baby deer ahead. He was about to jump on the deer with a great appetite when he learned from the conversation between them that soon it was going to be the goat's birthday party and everyone would be gathered there. Hmm. So everyone will be there. <laughs> the hungry wolf wanted to cheer his stomach with seven goats rather than two deers. He quickly reached the goat's hut. Indeed, the chef, Handa, and the mother goat were making a huge, colorful, four-layered cake filled with delicious candies. The wolf was delighted to imagine that he was hiding in the cake. And just as the goat was blowing out the candles, he was suddenly coming out of the cake and devouring the little goats. At that time, the mother goat called two of her little cubs for another surprise. Bah! Take this balloon to our elephant friend and tell him to inflate it. But beware, this is a surprise. Don't let your sister notice. Okay, Mom. E this time, the wolf imagined that he had burst the huge balloon and caught the little goats. As he dreamed, his mouth watered nonstop. This time, the mother goat called her other two cubs. Run and tell the giraffe to bring some of the most delicious ice creams in the big ice cream cart. That's also a surprise, by the way. Ice cream? Hooray! Bah! This time, the hungry wolf was dreaming that he would hide inside the ice cream truck. He began to sneak up on a corner and think, deciding that whichever plan he pursued would let him devour more little goats. Hours passed. Finally, all the preparations were finished and the guests gathered in the garden one by one. Of course, no one knew about the wolf's plan. The little goat was even more happy when she saw the gift packages. The elephant barely carried the huge surprise balloon that he inflated with his trunk and handed it to the little goat. When the goat saw the balloon, they tried to guess what was inside. Ah, is there a giant umbrella inside? No, it looks like a wolf's paw. What? A wolf? No! At that moment, the birthday goat couldn't resist and burst the balloon with a bang. The soft cotton candy that came out of it made the goats very happy. <laughs> this is a wonderful gift! Thank you! Mm -hmm. Later, the ice cream maker Giraffe invited the little goats to eat ice cream. All the goats took turns getting ice cream. But just then, the ice cream boxes started to wiggle. Everyone was looking at the shaking boxes with fear. But the boxes were suddenly thrown around and the rabbit friend appeared. Surprise! You thought I wouldn't come, didn't you? Oh, yes! I was so upset! Bah! When it was time for the cake, the chef panda and the mother goat carried the cake to the garden with difficulty. This cake is heavier than we thought, chef panda! All the guests were looking at the size of the cake with admiration. Is this giant cake for me? Yep! Come on, make a wish and blow out the candles! 
Everyone then gathered around the cake. The little goat made a wish. Just as she blew out the candle, the giant cake fell to the ground and its pieces were scattered everywhere. And out of the crumbling cake, the big bad wolf appeared. Everyone started to run screaming. It was such a mess at that moment that the mother goat was running from place to place to save her cubs. The hungry wolf caught three little goats and ran away. My babies! Let them go, you treacherous wolf! Bah. You can run after me, but you can't keep up with me anyways! <laughs> The wolf thought he disappeared without a trace by running away quickly. But the mother goat found the trace of the wolf by following the sweets dropped by her cubs. But in case she couldn't save her cubs alone, she asked her bear friend for help. The bear willingly agreed to help her. At that moment, when the wolf could not stand it any longer and was going to devour the goats in front of the den, he heard the joyful voice of the bear. La 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 la! What a great meal! An amazing taste! Ah! La 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 la! Mmm! The wolf could not resist and tied the goats to the stones and went to the bear curiously. What's going on, bear? What's the reason for this joy? Oh! There is such a feast table at the end of the road that if you eat even a portion of it, you'll not be hungry for at least a year. I think you should go and enjoy it too. La 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 la. The greedy wolf decided to go where the bear said. Rawr. When I'm back, I'll devour the goats too. Ah ha 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 ha. However, when the wolf got there, he saw neither a table nor a feast. This place was just an empty land on the edge of the cliff. Grr, where are the delicious meals? At that moment, the mother goat came out of her hiding place and accelerated and gave the wolf such a horn that the wolf ah! fell down the cliff screaming. The mother goat immediately went to the wolf's den and saved her cubs one by one. Oh, you're our hero, mommy! Bah! While they were returning to their happy lives, the big bad wolf could not understand that it was his greed that had defeated him.